Okay, so we've been talking about the chiller for a while now. And I said that I would do an unboxing on that. So let's see what we let's see what we got here. This thing is not light, so it weighs 29.3 kilograms. Uh, this actually showed up the same day as my laser. I ordered this laser uh, not quite, so day after Black Friday, I guess, Saturday. So Black Saturday is when I ordered the laser, the chiller, and the rotary tool. The rotary tool, I guess, is going to arrive tomorrow. Um, strangely enough, this stuff is all takes less time to ship here than... Amazon Prime for me because of where I live. Uh, I ordered some deionized water to use with this chiller, and that's going to take like a week to get here from Amazon, even though it's Prime. So, hats off to Ohmtech on very, very speedy shipping. Um, the laser would have arrived two days ago, but the shipping company, uh, the guy gave me the whole story. I won't go into it, but uh, he apologized for not coming. On Wednesday when it was supposed to be delivered but uh, it's here so and again can't use my machine until I get my water anyway but uh, it is what it is so we got our user's manual power cord and interestingly enough we have a little connector here it's a three pin connector it's just a connector it's not attached to anything so I'll have to read about that I'm guessing it may be an interface potentially to the machine. Uh, I've not read much about that yet. So this piece, ah, like I said, is not light, but it's handleable by one individual. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way. Let's see what happens. So it's a little, it's a little damp. Probably means that at some point it had water in there. It's probably a good sign. That means they actually tested it uh, before they sent it to me. So I wish it had some deionized water in it. That would make my life pretty cool right now. But so there it is. It is a gray and blue unit, kind of just like my gray and blue unit. So industrial chiller CW5200. We've got our temperature display which I believe is in Celsius. I'm an American, that doesn't mean a lot to me, but it doesn't really matter because as long as it's in the right range, it's in the right range. So we've got the front over here on the side. We have this little access panel. So unlike, I believe, the 3000 series, those are just basically kind of water coolers. They, almost like an evaporative cooler, they just blow air over a radiator to cool down the water. They're not actually refrigerant uh, based coolers. So this actually does have a compressor in it. So it's right, up, it's right back here, there's a little compressor and then there's the reservoir. So it's actually using a refrigerant to cool down the water just like your refrigerator does. Um, and so that's why it can uh, do that. So here it says every 15 to 30 days, the dust covers removed and cleansing. So, dust cover on this side, obviously it's going to be sucking air in to blow over um, the, the condenser and coils back there. So, like it says, every 30 days you want to take this off, clean that vacuum in, just to keep things operating efficiently. So on the back, you've got your inlet and your outlet, and then alarm outlet. So that's probably, yeah, that's where that connector goes. I'll have to read more about that to figure out how that goes. I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe the the laser does not require this. It's probably for different, you know, different systems if you needed that. Um, the laser is based on water flow. So when it, it has a flow sensor, when it senses water flowing through the tube, that's when it lets things go. So 
Again, inlet, outlet. The outlet is gonna go to the inlet on the laser, and the outlet of the laser is gonna come back to the inlet, so you have a closed loop system. That's where you're gonna hook your power cord, two large fans, and then there's a drain back here um, so that you can flush all the water out. And then you've got a sight gauge back here so you can see full, normal, and then alarm. So this system, if it springs a leak or something, it's going to, um, I don't know if it, I don't know what it does if the red light comes on. So there's a red light alarm and then there's a green light normal. So it probably does that. That would be probably where you could interface with the system and tell it, hey, my chiller is saying things are not right. So maybe we want to stop the laser from firing so that we don't burn out the tube. And then again, on the uh, right hand side, you've got another uh, door with some uh, fabric in it. So you're going to want to vacuum that occasionally. I am very curious as to why there's so much water on the inside of this. Hopefully that's not a, a bad sign, but it could just be condensation. I guess we will find out. And then, of course, on the top, you have your fill port. That's where you're going to put your water. I looked it up online. I believe this is 1.6 gallon capacity. So if you're buying, whether you get the deionized water or um, distilled water, you're going to need essentially two gallons um, to get this thing completely full. You won't have to use it all. And then I, I want to say, and I haven't read the book yet, but something like every six months you want to change your water out. Um, do not use tap water. Tap water, you're going to grow all sorts of fungus and molds and nasty stuff in there. It's going to cause, you're going to get deposits, you know, on the systems in your chiller. You get deposits on your tube. Um, yeah, there's a lot of bad things can happen if you don't have good water. And again, the number one reason that you're going to want to use deionized water is worst case scenario, if you spring a leak on one of those tubes, you don't want something conductive spraying onto your tube, causing your high voltage, your laser power supply to, to short out. And then not only are you going to risk damaging the tube uh, because of you know, loss of water and cooling, but now you've also, your power supply has shorted out and now you've got two things that you've got to replace. So again, that's why I'm going with the ionized water. Your mileage may vary, do what uh, makes you feel good. But uh, so that is the CW5200 industrial chiller. Um, hopefully that's a good investment to go along with uh, this beauty right here.